Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here, back with Psalms, and sorry I didn't upload um, things on time. As usual, we're going to do four videos today, two Dark Souls videos and two Bible preaching videos, and I do owe one 30-minute message. It's always on falling behind in some stupid way. So I'm going to try to play catch-up, and let's go to Psalm 4, verse 8. I will both lie down in peace and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. That's I'm just going to go with that verse um, alone because today there was a, without going into a ton of details, there was a little bit of a health scare for me. Um, to the best of my knowledge, I'm fine. I hope I stay fine over the next few days. And I know that that sounds a bit scary. And, well, I'm a little bit scared, to be quite honest. Again, not going into a ton of details there. But essentially, something went wrong. And hopefully I didn't contract anything. I don't have insurance right now. I really can't afford to go anywhere. But, of course, you know, things will be what they'll be. And we'll see what the next few days hold. I should be fine. But I don't know. And just the... Uh, uh, it not, it's not an illusion of not knowing. I genuinely don't know. Um, but that thought of not knowing what's going to happen to me, it kind of pulled into question how much do I trust in the Lord. I feel called to do certain things. I feel very confident the Lord wants me to do certain things in this life before I go home to be with Him in heaven. Therefore, that would require me to live, um, you know, for probably several more years. And while... You know, just naturally speaking, I should live for the next few years. There are so many things in this world that could end your life so quickly. For anyone who's um, known Markiplier for any amount of time, love you, Mark Senpai, by the way. Mwah! You are a beautiful, beautiful man. Um, he hates the ocean. He says the ocean is a giant pool of death, and he's right. Well, in certain parts of the world, um, there are animals full of death. There are insects full of death. The air is full of death. Various temperature zones, the temperatures alone, are death. And everywhere else in the universe other than Earth is death for living matter. It's kind of, in a sense, we're surrounded by death on all sides. This reality can be a bit of a scary place. And it, did, and it called into question, how much do I believe in God to get me through this little scare that I'm going through now? To get, and I'm not trying to be melodramatic, like crap could go down. I'm going to be looking into the matter a little bit more tomorrow. So I'm talking to y'all in the middle of this. And it's probably all in my mind. Probably nothing will happen. But there are still steps I need to take to make sure. There are still things, there are still precautions I'm going through in my mind. Okay, it's like, okay, if this happens, you know, I call 911. If, if such and such happens, I need to let, uh, I need to let my boss at work know what's going on. I mean, I'm literally going through these steps in my head. And well, of course, you know, if I'm if you see my videos upload over the next few days, then obviously everything will be fine and dandy. But yeah. Um and if everything over the next 72 hours, so 28th, 29th and 30th, if I'm uploading stuff on the 30th, probably everything is fine. So, you know, Bob, feel free to pray for me. I'll certainly take the prayers. But do I really trust in the Lord to enable me to dwell in safety? I really do believe he's looking out for me. Am I going to be fine over these next few days? And my, my immediate answer is, yeah, I'll be fine. But I just may go through a really, really rough time for a little bit. Um, things may be, hello, camera. Way to not focus. Come on. Come on. There we go. Um, things may be a little bit dicey, but I'll, I'll live through it. I really don't want to rack up a huge um, hospital bill without insurance, but... You know what? What? What can I? What can I do? And as a human, I realized very quickly I couldn't do anything. So the little bubble of safety that we carry around, thinking that everything's fine, and everything is okay, uh, it was burst pretty effectively for me today. Uh, even if nothing happens, don't think. Don't think anything will happen. Probably nothing will happen. I certainly hope nothing happens. But that bubble, that illusion of safety, was shattered. And I want to say right now, while I'm feeling well, even if something does happen, that doesn't take away from the fact that I will make it through, and I will live, despite whatever horrible thing may or may not happen. 
And, who, and, you know, at the same time, you know, who knows? We could be perfectly healthy and perfectly fine and, you know, some crazy natural disaster or some madman come through and just end it. We don't know in this life. We don't know. We don't. But I will both lie down in peace and sleep. It is hard to sleep when you don't have peace of mind. It's hard to calm yourself, your heart, your mind down. But David says, I'm going to lie down in peace and sleep for you alone. You alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. If I believe God's got things for me to do in this life, just like Jesus walked through the crowd of people, when they were going to push him off a cliff and stone him, and he just walked through the crowd because he wasn't done yet. If I believe I've got things to do in this life, then even if I suffer temporarily, I'll make it through So I'm not done yet. So this video can stand a testament to what will likely be pointless and fruitless worries, but these pointless, fruitless worries certainly help me realize that even if I am fine right now, it was just a really good reminder that the Lord alone is my safety, and it's because of His presence in my life that I can lie down in peace and sleep. Not because of anything in this world, not because of... You know, the people around me, uh, any money in my bank account, any job I'm holding down because of him alone. And today was a great reminder of that. So I know what I said sounded a little bit scary. Feel free to pray for me. I'm praying for myself. Again, I'm going to be taking a few measures here in the next few days to make sure everything's okay. And sorry to sound a little bit scared. I am a little bit scared. But uh, I love you guys very, very much. And I believe I'm going to pull through. And like I said, more than likely... Everything is just fine. So, uh, I plan on seeing you guys later. I love you. God bless.